Introducing Copilot for DevOps Plus, your AI work item management assistant in Azure DevOps. From crafting high-quality requirements to generating test scripts, this tool reduces costs, slashes development time, and boosts employee efficiency. It is available as part of modern requirements or as a standalone extension for Azure DevOps. Take your software and hardware development to the next level with Copilot for DevOps Plus. For our examples, we are demonstrating within the standalone version. We have created an epic for an autonomous capability for an EV. When you invoke Copilot for DevOps Plus, you will see a variety of functions available. Elicit gives us the ability to request suggestions on work items, in this case, features. On this epic, we are going to say, give me the minimum number of features for building an autonomous vehicle with some recommendations. We are selecting all the records so you can include them in the project. With the number of record selection, you can ask, do you want some or do you want a lot? And it will give you an appropriate recommendation count. Under custom instructions, you can also choose which GPT model you want to use, the conversation style, the output length, and choose the output language. The default is English. So we are going to go ahead and create features for this epic. It's going to create all of these as work items, which are visible upon refreshing. Next, let's go down and ask it to create user stories. It's going to come up with several user stories that we can work with. We can go to custom instructions and ask it to use the as a user I can so that format. By default, the AI will do what it thinks is best. Custom instructions are helpful because you can alter the AI output with specific instructions. And now we have a series of few stories. We can read through them, we can select them and get their description and acceptance criteria. You can select the options you want to create work items with. When you click on Generate, you now have these user stories. Let's further drill down because we would now like to elicit test cases. With a single click, the AI will create the test cases for that user story. Again, we can select them all. If you read through this, you will find that they are pretty good recommendations. Of course, you need to verify them to make sure that this is exactly what you want. But Copilot for DevOps gives you a huge jump start. Now, the test cases have a description and all your test steps. Let's say we accept all the suggestions. It will now create your test cases with the tested by link type. Now imagine you have written a requirement yourself or with Copilot for DevOps Plus, and you want to determine how well it is written. Go to Analyze and select the fields you want to analyze. Here, we are selecting title, acceptance criteria, and description. If you want a more thorough analysis, Choose GPT-4 rather than 3.5. You will then get a more accurate representation, better analysis, and better recommendations. As you are writing requirements, Copilot for DevOps Plus can analyze your requirements, your test cases, your risk, your hazards, your FMEAs, etc., and give you feedback to make them better. You can also translate content into other languages. You can also convert a user story to a use case or into a Gherkin format. So we input title, acceptance criteria, and description and ask it to transform it into Gherkin. You can add this result into a work item or create a new work item based on that. You can also paraphrase your content and elaborate on it. Let's see the pseudocode functionality. If you want to generate pseudocode, you can generate pseudocode in plain English or any other common programming languages like VBA C Sharp, JavaScript, etc. Let's say we want to create JavaScript pseudocode. The AI has now created your pseudocode in JavaScript. If you had a very well-defined detailed specification for an algorithm, it would create pseudocode in R or any other programming language you prefer. You can also create test scripts with Copilot for DevOps. When you want to create test scripts for automation, you can give it input from pseudocode, requirements, detail specs, and even high-level requirements. It will return test scripts. In this case, we are choosing Selenium, so it's going to create Selenium test scripts. There you are. That's your framework to start with given this user story as input.
Dynamic prompts are a powerful way to simplify task management by giving tailored prompts on specific queries. Some tasks that would have taken weeks can be done in hours, depending on the size of your data set. In this example, we have a series of customer requirements for an electronic health record management system with IoT. We want to compare those to our system, which provides those capabilities. These are our system requirements. We're going to call Copilot for DevOps Plus and compare the delta between the two. We are giving it our system capabilities and pointing to the customer requirements. We're asking it, tell me what is the delta, what is missing, and what is the coverage. The system will now go and do the comparison. We could ask it to provide much more detail than this, but you can see the power of dynamic prompts. It's simply incredible. Copilot for DevOps Plus is built for BAs, product owners, QAs, system analysts, requirements engineers, and more across many industries. Copilot for DevOps Plus is brought to you by Modern Requirements, a team building award-winning requirements management tools for almost two decades. So are you ready to experience the future of your Azure DevOps workflow? Copilot for DevOps Plus is available as a standalone in Azure Marketplace or Visual Studio Marketplace.